Hey everybody, it's day three at the hospital. We just got discharged and we just wanted to show you baby Everly before we left the hospital. Everyone say hey to baby Everly. Look at all that dark black hair. We just got discharged, but we wanted to say hey, show y'all everything before we left the hospital. Look at her cute little baby feet. She was born on 9-19-2022 at 7.57 a.m. Eight pounds, 21 and a half inches long. And as you can see, we're all packed up and ready to go. Look at that cute baby girl. Look at those beautiful flowers Macy sent us. Look at my beautiful wife, loving on my beautiful baby girl, Everly. We are so, so blessed to be leaving the hospital on day three. Everything went good. Ashley's still sore, of course, of course from the C-section, but everything went good. Baby Everly's healthy. They've checked her about a hundred times, coming in and out while we were trying to sleep. But we are so, so blessed that everything went good. My baby girl, hey really. Let me tell y'all, I was so happy when she came out crying loud and breathing good and the nurses are checking her out and saying everything looked good and that she weighed eight pounds and she was they were acting like she was very long, 21 and a half inches long. I think that's pretty long from what they were telling me for a girl, 21 and a half inches long. But it's an experience. Let me tell you, you're, my wife had a C-section, so you're sitting on a stool by your wife's head, you know, while she's getting operated on. They're, you know, taking the baby out and then they get the baby out and then you're going over there to take some pictures and see the baby and then you're coming back to sit by your wife and show your wife the baby all while they're continuing to uh, work on your wife and close her back up from the c-section and uh they tied her tubes i didn't know if that was like going to take extra time or what and then you don't know anything they're saying and what they're doing and raise the bed, lower the bed, um, give her, you know, however much of this, of that, like it's just constant, like so much uh, information uh, so quickly and you're just like, what do you do? You just sit there holding, holding your wife's hand and then they're still checking out the baby and doing all the measurements and getting all that stuff so you, you're wanting to be beside your baby and check on the baby and worried about your wife all at the same time. It's a, it's an experience. That's about the best way I could uh, explain it. But it couldn't have gone better. Um, everything went, uh, you know, according to the book, everything was by the book. It went good, very, very blessed. Everly's healthy, perfectly healthy and strong. My wife's recovering, everything went good. First off, hey dude. That's right, Everly, the dad jokes are coming. I hope you're ready. I've had practice with Grayson and Arya, so you're gonna get the worst part of it. All the dad jokes from day one. Who, what baby? What baby?
y'all been doing while we've been gone, huh? We've been playing with How was your day at school? Good. What'd y'all do at school? Grayson, what's the baby doing? Because she has a passy. Dude, that's what, when she has a passy, that's what babies do. What do they do? That's, Show me. That's what babies do. That's what babies do. What passy does? The mouth is white. Everly, say good morning. We actually had a pretty good night last night. She only woke up every few hours to take her bottle and then go back to sleep. The night before that, I guess she had some gas or something. She was extremely fussy and was just awake and fussing all night long the night before that. So, but last night went pretty good. Actually able to sleep between the feedings. So, but I just want to do a quick uh, RV nursery update. So it's working out great. I don't know if I mentioned, but we got this uh, crib. It's a mini crib. I want to say we got it off of either Amazon. I think Amazon has them and Walmart. Uh, Walmart had it also online. But the mini crib is working out great. You really don't need the full size crib anyway. And then this little rocker we also got from Walmart. I think Walmart and Amazon uh, they're about the same price on Walmart and Amazon. Things set up right here. We got our baby wipes, formula, some water bottles, some diapers and everything and some clothes, different outfits all hanging right here. And then my wife made this little shelf and painted it and decorated it. And we got some gripe water and some different things, some baby lotion and stuff like that. A bunch of samples that the doctor gave us yesterday pretty good samples actually she's all awake this morning kept her bundled up all night last night bundled up tight that way she would actually sleep between all the feedings and then during the day we're gonna try to keep her unwrapped a little bit a little bit more maybe not wrap her up so tight that way she don't go into as uh, deep of a sleep and then also since my wife had the c-section I added this uh, step I uh, just made it out of half inch plywood but I made the little step uh, while she was pregnant to help her get in and out of bed and uh, it's working out perfect now too because uh, the c-section is she's so sore uh, so she can't really like you know get up and down as easy as she used to but yeah so that's one another another thing we added was the little plywood step uh -oh. Uh -oh. Say bye, Everly. Say bye. Say bye. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like.